hello queens welcome back today i'm sharing with you guys pretty much what i ate in a day and on this particular day i just had some ginger tea with some orange slices and then for breakfast i had some avocado toast on wheat bread and for lunch i had a quinoa salad bowl with some sauteed skillet sauteed kale and tomatoes and then with some parmesan on top and then i think i also had some onions and garlic in there as well you guys so oh that is such a great alternative for lunch it's so hearty oh i just love it so for dinner we decided to do a um salmon dish and it's not even a salmon dish it was like a um oven um dish or whatever entree and so you just see me here and i'm pretty much just skinning my salmon um i'm not going to pay somebody to do it i can do it myself and plus it's fun too it adds a like a part of the cooking process so yeah so once i've done that to the first one and you see me here doing this to the second one the second one was a little bit um, thinner on the end, so you, that's why you guys see me taking a little bit longer to begin the skinning process. I was just cutting off that end piece. I was like, we don't need that. But oh my gosh, salmon is so good for you. It's high in omega-3 fats, which is very, very good for your heart. And it's very good too if you're on a weight loss journey. And it just helps you to just get the necessary fats that you need for a healthy diet overall. So moving forward, um, pretty much you're going to use whatever kind of seasonings you would like to use. I mean, of course, salt and pepper to taste. Um, as you can see, I have some pesto that we're going to use. And then I have an all season, like all spice blend. And it's organic and it's salt free. And oh my gosh, I picked that up at TJ Maxx and I love it, love it, love it. Um, it was about five bucks, but you guys, it is good on everything like chicken, fish, salad, quinoa seafood doesn't matter like just anything like get you an allspice blend that you can use to cook with and I find with the, having something like that it really gives me like more um, of a variety of meals to actually cook because with an allspice blend it has exactly everything you need so this is what it looks like after you pretty much spread the pesto on top of the salmon and now we're going to just take some foil and you want um each sheet to just be big enough to actually wrap around the salmon and you're just going to lay down your bed of um string beans here i picked these up from the um, produce market i cleaned them and then i just cut the ends off to pretty much give them like a french style um cut and then we're going to use some lemon and then i have some cherry tomatoes that i've just sliced in half and then you're going to just take your salmon and lay it on top of your bed of string beans you guys this is so good you can actually season your string beans if you want to i didn't and then you can just place your tomato halves on top of your salmon uh, and you guys this is so healthy and it's so good it's flavorful and it's just very delicious and i usually can't eat all of my dinner portions anyways so i always use um with the leftovers for lunch or probably to repurpose it for another meal so as you guys can see here it's on instagram and if you guys are wanting if you guys are wanting to see more definitely follow me over on instagram you can follow me on facebook twitter pinterest especially that's where i have a lot of my recipes and this is actually where i got this one from don't worry i'll leave all of the uh, recipes shown here down below in the description bar and yeah so then i'm going to add a little bit more of my allspice seasoning blend and then we're going to begin wrapping the actual salmon itself so you just pretty much want to just make it like an oven pocket pretty much and you just want to just kind of fold the top over and then make sure you tuck the ends in really good so that we can pretty much cook in its own little oven this was so good you guys i would definitely definitely cook this again and like again you guys know i love seafood and so far so good in my pescatarian diet like i've had a couple of slide backs especially today as i'm recording this voiceover it was really bad but i'll come to you guys in a proper update so here's what it looks like when it's done cooking in the oven like you can actually let it go a little bit longer if you want it to this particular night it was late so i just put the rice on the foil i was being lazy but all in all it was still delicious you guys and also too you don't want to overcook your seafood because especially if you're going to be reheating it later on you don't want to overcook or necessarily dry out the actual you know seafood itself you want to just keep in that flavor that nice moisture so we can just have it for later on 
so the next morning i just had some watermelon melt watermelon and we were just out and about we was um doing some errands it was really really early i hadn't eaten breakfast and then i had a bottle of water and i also had almonds we finally stopped for breakfast i got this oatmeal but it was so sweet but i just mainly just had the smoothie um it's really really good it's not super super sweet which is why i really like it and it's inexpensive later on for lunch i had a salad from wendy's and then i just added my own red onion in there and i just sliced the tomatoes that was already on the salad and then i just used the salad dressing that came along with it and that was pretty much lunch you guys and <laughs> i love their salads from wendy's they're very very good hey you guys so this is my haul pretty much for this week so um yesterday on snapchat i pretty much did a quick haul of what i picked up from burlington um so i'll insert that after this clip but um pretty much this time since it's the weekend starting of the new week this is my little cheat this is alexa's um blueberry muffin i got a lemon poppy seed um i know when i was in the military oh my god i love these things that came in the mres so yeah i got that um, so yeah, then we picked up some asparagus because we're going to actually do a one dish or like a one pan dinner So we're going to do shrimp with asparagus and like some lemon and garlic and all that good jazz tonight And then I'm going to also start creating my own spring rolls tomorrow Um, okay, so then I got some avocados. I got a bag of these. These are the Haas avocados And then I got some Kerrygold unsalted pure Irish butter for our shrimp um, then I got a bag of pineapple chunks frozen. I got some fresh organic blueberries. And you guys, I love blueberries. These things are good. Um, then I got some mangoes. These are 99 cents each. So I was like, yeah, yeah. Then I got a cucumber. And then um, Alexa picked up some club crackers because we're going to do like a wine and cheese kind of night with the mozzarella with the peppers and garlic you know with the olive oil and then when she got some pizza poppers these are from annie's homegrown mm -hmm. and there are no artificial flavors or colors um cheese from cows not treated with rbst 15 grams of protein per serving yeah this is about 11 poppers and then i picked up some um rice noodles this is going to also be for the spring rolls to put on the inside um yeah next time i'm definitely going to pick these up when i go back to being done because that have only been two dollars compared to me actually paying five dollars for this box so yeah you guys you have to actually shop around like for things that you like and um yeah i would have came out cheaper at being done with that so then i picked up some hoisin sauce i'm gonna need that to make my little peanut butter my little peanut sauce or whatever to go with the spring rolls and some rice vinegar and then this is just some wine from spring creek this is the sweet red i like this kind and it's only like four bucks at dollar general and it tastes so good so then the last thing that we picked up was some wild salmon um wild bourbon salmon salmon burgers oh my gosh and tongue tied they were 3.99 a container and they were pretty much a little bit smaller than this size here so i would probably say like they're about like that big yeah but for 3.99 and i mean they're packed to the top with actual salmon he says all salmon it does not contain any beef so i'm like yes give me that it's gonna work perfect for next week and then of course um you guys know i love their flowers so picked up some more pom-poms so yeah, if it's gonna put these in some water and that's pretty much my groceries for the week and then I also have here some quinoa. This is called from the brand Earthly Choice. I got two of those. Um, we have some sweet potatoes. I still have a red onion here. I have a whole thing of oats here. And then I also got two packages of the Organic Traditions Dark Chia Seeds. And I love chia seeds. And then I picked up their um, cold milk chia and flaxseed powder. Um, <laughs> powder yeah and so yeah these you can like make for pancakes and stuff so i make it up in the morning and actually make some pancakes with these and then put like some blueberries on top of that what you think babe how that sound yeah that sounds good so yeah and i mean it's going to be simple because you just simply add water to it um so that's going to be actually really really good and you guys like i stated i wanted to share this with you guys because um 
again i never really realized that i was already on a pescatarian diet but now i'm starting to see that like i have a lot more options and stuff like that because like you guys i really do love bread and pasta and all that kind of stuff so being able to use quinoa and like flax seeds and chia seeds to actually use for a substitute to actually like make pancakes waffles and those kind of um you know options that's pretty much a healthy alternative so i'm happy about that yeah so we're fixing to get ready to make dinner i'm fixing to put all this stuff away put that in some water and yeah and that's pretty much gonna wrap up this vlog you guys see you at dinner Hey you guys, so we are at the famous Joe Patty's. This is where I actually used to work at you guys, 12 hour days. It's no joke, but the seafood down here is fresh. Let's see what they got today. Definitely plan on getting some tuna. Thank you, on the way up. some sockeye salmon this time he gets this from alaska so get some of that oh look at the salmon steaks Ooh. yeah i think i'm gonna probably get some salmon steaks and some sockeye thank you all right you guys so i picked up some salmon steaks this week some actual tuna i got another half pound and then i also got some basa which is another form of catfish i don't like the regular form of catfish so now i'm just looking for i'm just looking at the seasons that he has in here see if there's anything that i don't have that i could use this week has so much to choose from. Oh, yeah, he sells the liquid aminos here. And this is what I need. This is four fifty nine. This one's five forty nine. But yeah, you can use this in substitute for um, soy sauce. It's a soy sauce alternative. So I'm definitely picking up one of these. So I need one of those actually so i need some sticky rice i think i'm gonna make some sushi this week you guys so, that's breadcrumbs panko breadcrumbs brown rice Here it is.
oven sheet dish dinner deal. This is some shrimp that we purchased from Joe Patty's and I we actually just peeled them and deveined them ourselves. Um, yeah, we can do that at home. And so we have some asparagus here as you guys can see Alexa is actually cutting the ends off and you guys like we love asparagus. We just love anything green. <laughs> So um, after doing all that, you're gonna put your pretty much all your asparagus on there and then you're gonna lay down your actual shrimp themselves. And I mean, they don't have to be perfect. You just wanna make sure that they're laid on there evenly so that way they can cook evenly. And yeah, and you pretty much season them however you want it. Like, of course you wanna use garlic, you wanna use onion, um, you wanna use like some kind of herbs like parsley, maybe um, some basil or even an allspice blend. Um, we also probably, I think we use Himalayan pink salt. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we did, but that's what we use. So this is what it looks like here on the pan. And then you're simply just gonna put that in the oven and let it cook, and that's it. Um, you can have that with rice, quinoa, whatever you decide to have along with that. 